What up? What up? What up? In this video, we're going to take a look at TD Ameritrade. It's an investing platform that will help you with being able to actually plan for retirement, being that, you know, us self-employed folks, you know, we this is something that just doesn't really come up as much as it should. We definitely need to be more proactive with making an effort to save for retirement and TD Ameritrade. <clears throat> And it's not just saving for retirement, of course, if you just want to do regular, you know, uh, investing and and, you know, try to find another way to make your money grow. Hopefully uh, this video is helpful for you. And uh, before we jump into it, of course, don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts about your investing uh, plan and strategy. Are you currently investing? Have you been holding off? Um, and what are you, you using? Are you familiar with uh, TD Ameritrade or do you, you use another platform like Webull or M1 Finance, Betterment, Robinhood? Uh, there are many out there um, and this is just one among the pack. So we're, we're going to take a little bit of a look at it. But like I said, comment down below. Let me know what you think about TD Ameritrade. And uh, of course, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date on my latest video content. Webull. Enjoy tech. Enjoy investing. Click the link down below to learn how you can get two free stocks. Interactivevideoacademy.com. An e-learning platform for self-employed. So here we are on TD Ameritrade website, and um, as you can see, the online brokerage that makes you a smarter investor. Our knowledgeable professionals and industry-leading tools are united to do one thing, make you a smarter, more confident investor. When the market swings, learn how to swing back. Get expert uh, insights to help navigate the ups and downs of the market with confidence. And why you... Why would you trade anywhere else? Stay on top of the market with our award-winning trader experience, number one overall broker, number one platforms and tools, number one customer service, number one education, number one trader app, number one trader community, and number one desktop platform from stockbrokers.com. And take, a mark, take on the market with our powerful platforms. Trade without trade-offs. Our desktop, web, and mobile platforms are designed for performance and built for all levels of investors. Personalized education just for you. There's no ROI on TMI. That's why we created a learning experience that customizes to give you exactly the information you need and none of the information you don't. So why choose TD Ameritrade? Their products, they have a wide selection of investment choices, education, interactive courses and webcasts, tools, free, powerful trading platforms, pricing, commission, free online trading, Research, objective, third-party research, Accolades, number one overall broker from stockbrokers.com, and support dependable professional service. So we're going to scroll up to the top and just click on the pricing page over here. We're not going to jump into too much more. really just wanted to show you this, and then I'm going to walk you guys through the steps and the process of signing up since I will be creating my own personal account with TD Ameritrade. So zero, 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 zero commissions. Zero is beautiful. We like that. Zero commissions. So no platform fees, no data fees, and no trade minimums. Our award-winning investing experience now commission-free. So introducing zero dollars uh, commissions on online stock, ETF, and option trades. When you add this to... Uh, our best-in-class platforms, award-winning education and service, and a network of over 250 branches, you'll see why TD Ameritrade is the smarter way to trade. And this uh, applies to U.S. exchange-listed stocks, ETFs, and um, options. They, it does say there's a $0.65 cent, um, per contract fee applies for option trades. So... Again, online, zero dollars, zero commission applies to exchangeless U.S. stocks. So what I was just saying in a second, a second ago, um, domestic and Canadian ETF and option trades. There's a 65 cent um, per options contract fee with no exercise or assignment fees and six dollars and 95 cent commission applies to online trades of over the counter stocks, which are stocks not listed on the U.S. exchange. 
And um, yeah, I mean, you, the, the other thing that you may or may not be familiar with that I'm noticing over here on the right is Forex currency, which I don't do any kind of Forex, but um, this just shows the depth and kind of uh, magnitude of what TD Ameritrade is working with since a lot of the other platforms that I use don't also aren't you know offer forex so um you know if the, if you are someone who does use forex and you know you're thinking about getting into regular stocks or maybe vice versa this might be the platform uh that you should consider since like i mentioned a lot of these other platforms do not offer any kind of forex currency um they also have futures um two dollars and 25 cent fee per contract plus exchange and regulatory fees and, you know, I'm starting to I'm I, like if you notice a lot of my investing videos, I like to add in beginner, you know, one one intro, because that's where I still feel like I am. I've never really taken a huge dive into investing like I currently am. And, you know, I've had, you know, one or two of my portfolios open for maybe two or three years now. Um, I mean, at least a year. I, I might I might even be pushing when I say three years, but I pr I'm pretty sure, you know, um, at least two probably two years is realistic um and you know and i'll probably make another video just j diving into one of my portfolios and letting you guys see how things are going for me what i've put my money behind um but i've begun to hear about futures and that you know it's not ultimately as a whole i'm hearing good things about potentially going down this route but again i haven't actually made an effort to learn more same thing with options which i've heard is kind of more more uh risky um, and, you know, a little more to it, but, you know, different people will say different things. Of course, some, something that's easy to one person might be harder to someone else and vice versa. So as a whole, I'm really buying this, um, you know, going to go forward with creating an, a, an account with TD Ameritrade for um, some particular stocks that aren't available on other platforms that uh, I'm currently using. So, um, you know, again, I like that zero commissions, uh, no platform fees, no data fees, no trade commit uh, minimums, you know, so we're going to um, come over here to this open new account. And again, this is these the, this now um, pretty much walking you guys through the process to create your own TD Ameritrade account, which will allow you to begin investing and planning for you know your retirement your future um or again just a, a way to potentially grow your money um to much more than what you currently have and um you know of course with the stock market nothing is guaranteed but um you know there's too the, the wealthy make their money through investing and there's just too many uh you know self-employed and you know lower income individuals that are that are missing out on uh the opportunity to make uh, money with your money, you know, um, again, the market, you know, a lot of people right now, like don't jump into the market now, don't buy anything. Others are buying because, you know, when you see a product that you really believe in and despite where the market is right now, if you think it's still going to be more and, and, and bigger and, and, you know, the, the, the stock is the share is going to be bigger than what it currently is, you know, it makes sense to invest. Um, you know, if you think, Google will be around for another 10, 15 years, and you think Google will be bigger than what it currently is today, it might make good sense to invest. But again, some will say, uh, don't do it now. It's premature. Market's going to crash. You know, but you can never time these things. And that's that's what makes it so tricky. But also I understand why a lot of people are reluctant to actually jump into it. Um, so here we are. Um, as I just clicked on um, create a new account, we're going to keep it on English and uh, most common uh, accounts that you could have rollover ira roth ira traditional ira joint um, tenants um, or an individual brokerage uh, i'm going to be walking through an individual brokerage i will maybe i'll make additional videos on the differences between a traditional and a roth i already have these with other platforms that i am currently investing with but an individual brokerage account will allow you to pretty much just buy whatever stocks you want it's not something that will punish you for uh, you know, taking your money out early or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> but, um, you know, as you can see about our, uh, accounts, stocks, options, if available, mutual funds, um, exchange traded funds, ETFs, which is also something good that you would want to consider for long-term investing or your retirement. So your IR, your either or, uh, either of your, um, IRAs, uh, bonds and CDs are available 
in most accounts. Uh, investment choices may be limited and trust 529 education accounts and pension plans. Online trade commissions of $0 for U.S. exchange listed stocks, ETFs, and options. A $0.65 cents per contract fee applies for option trades with no minimum balance on most account types. Um, excluding some promotional offers, no platform fees, and no trade minimums, as we already heard, which is why we are moving forward with TD Ameritrade. Um, so we're going to click on individual brokerage, and this says, uh, this is in this account, you can invest in stocks, bonds, ETFs, and mutual funds, and apply to trade options, futures, and Forex. A standard brokerage account with only one owner. <clears throat> Not a tax advantaged IRA. You are responsible to report earnings for each tax year. No age limits or required distributions. Deposit to and withdraw from this account whenever you like. And when the account owner dies, the assets pass to his or her estate. That's exactly what we want to move forward with. So we're going to click on open account. Welcome. Let's open an account. What you need. So you're going to need your social security number or uh, ITIN foreign tax ID, passport, or visa number if you're not a U.S. citizen, a permanent resident, and your employer's name, address, and phone number. If you already have a TD Ameritrade account, you can log in and we'll pre-fill part of your application. So we're going to just fill this out as... as it should be. You're just going to throw in your first name, last name, your email, your country, and you have to actually add your address and information like that. Add in all of your address, add your phone number. Of course, you want to look at the TD Ameritrade privacy statement and continue to personal information. And we'll just use that top suggested one. Then you're going to add in your date of birth. Are you a U.S. citizen? Are you also a citizen of another country? Your social security number and your employment status. So employment uh, status, self-employed, then your business helper. offer so many different services always funny let's do advertiser marketing because that is among my uh services or the industries i work in Throw in your business address. If it's if you are self-employed, you work from home, you can just probably throw in your home address. I just threw in my uh, office mailbox number. Are you and your spouse or any member of your immediate family living in the same household licensed by, employed by, or associated with a broker? Nope. And then are you or your spouse or is any member of your immediate family a member of the board of directors, 10% shareholder, or a policymaker officer of a public traded company? Nope. Continue to financial information. And next, provide your financial details. I don't think things like this are too serious at this point, but um, annual income, we'll say this year will probably be somewhere in there. What is the source of funds for your initial deposit? We'll 
just save my savings. What is the source of funds for outgoing deposit? For, uh, I said outgoing. Uh, what is the source of funds for ongoing deposits? Um, you know, it could be savings, probably just um, employment wages. How do you plan to use this account? Invest in and trade stock options, ETF bonds, and or mutual funds, trade futures, and or Forex, in addition to stocks, options, ETFs, bonds. See, I'm kind of curious about this uh, trade futures um, since I've, I've just, I literally just kind of heard about it for the first time yesterday. Um, yeah, so that's fine, I guess. Um, so at this point, you can just come down, click on and you know, if you do have an offer code, which you could probably Google and find an offer code for this fairly easy. Um, I'm just gonna continue to review information. Get your full name, your email, your home address. And you're gonna have your personal information like your date of birth, your social security. Um, if you are a US citizen, if you're self-employed, your business address and so on. Then your financial information, how much you've made, how much uh, you know your network and liquid net worth. Uh, where this money has come from, um, kind of how you'll continue to source it moving forward, and everything. Looks good. We're going to just do continue. Now it's on to the fine print, and you obviously want to look over all of these documents and make sure everything looks right. Um, you got your W... Um, W9 certifications under the penalty. I, Adam Spencer, verify that. My, I agree. Mm, client agreement. Uh, we'll just do continue. And then Adam, I uh, almost finished Adam. Let's set your login create your user ID. You're going to add in a password. You can come down here and add in some more just kind of security info. Account number, user ID, make your first deposit now and request an account transfer so you can get started trading and investing. Then you'll choose your account features, including margin, options, approval, delivery preference, real-time quotes, check debit cards, and more. But as you can see, my account is now open. So we can actually begin to fund our account, which I'm probably not going to do at this moment since I need to, since I would like to uh, make lunch and we'll finish my lunch because it's pretty much done, I think. Um, but this is cool. Okay. Express funding as little as 30 minutes, see restrictions. So if you deposit between 50 and $150,000 from a U.S. bank account in U.S. dollars, and then return fees apply if the bank rejects the transfer due to insufficient funds. Funds may post to your account in as little as 30 minutes. You can then trade many securities until your deposit clears. Another three to four business days, you can't withdraw the money or trade some security based on the market risk. Um, but cool. So you basically can get your money in here like ASAP. So like there were some, there's some stocks that I actually want to purchase. And it's the main reason I'm, I'm, I'm creating this account. And, um, you know, I'm seeing that the price slowly go up from what it was like a few days ago from when I was looking at it. And I'm like, man, I'm missing out. I got to get in here. And so this is great to see that I'll have the ability to fund my account now and, uh, you know, make some 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 purchases invest some of the some of my money in some of these stocks before the price continues to tick up beyond you know what it was a day a week ago two days ago um and whatnot you know it's kind of my fault for for putting it off but you know we're heading in the right direction now and i apologize for me like keep sinking in it's like i i didn't mean to i didn't want to wear this t-shirt in the shot um i'm not trying to draw attention to it now either um but yeah. So So 
So now pretty much just asking to for my bank information, um, which I'm gonna just do save and go to my account. So you guys can actually just get a look at what the account, and this is my first time seeing a TD Ameritrade um, account, what it looks like in here as well. So don't wait on the phone. I probably do wanna download it on my phone, but I would imagine this is where we would see my stocks listed here, my account value, as you can see. And as they, you know, try to put emphasis on um, got the watch list here. So this is good. Got news. So probably as we add um, accounts to your watch list and whatnot, I would imagine maybe it fine tunes what appears in here. Maybe not. I don't entirely know. Um, but um, ultimately, there you guys have it. Um, you know, if we want to jump in here and start to make some purchases and whatnot, um, I don't think it should be too complicated. Um, I mean, I just clicked on trade and stocks and uh, let's say we wanted to look up Nike stock. So you can see right here, we've got Nike stock over one month, over three months, and it's Looks like it's up from where it was three months ago. Um, so it's like, do I want to buy it? Do I not? Eh, eh, eh. Got to do that research and, um, you know, make the, the uninformed decision on your own, of course. Um, let's come back to the my account overview page. But there you guys have it. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Again, just wanted to show you how you can sign up um, give you kind of a look at what TD Ameritrade is. And, you know, I have created other videos on some of the other investing platforms that are available, such as Webull. And uh, uh, I don't know if I did one on Betterment. However, I do use Betterment. So if I haven't, I will create one on Betterment as well. And M1 Finance, which is, uh, I would say, kind of my favorite platform just because I like the pie concept and the ability to easily navigate the website. It doesn't seem too complicated. Um, but, you know, again, I'm new to TD Ameritrade, so this might end up being my favorite or after using it for a week or two or a few days. Um, so, again, uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't yet so you can stay up to date on, you know, my thoughts on TD Ameritrade as well as some of these other platforms. Um, eventually, I'll start creating content on the actual stocks and portfolios that I've created. Um, so you guys can kind of just get a look and see, you know, where my mind's at, the things I'm thinking about and how well or bad those are going and um you know subscribe to the channel so you guys can like i said just stay up to date stay in a loop on all of those videos as i do roll them out comment down below with your thoughts about td ameritrade if you are using it now that you've seen me go through the steps on creating an account um you know let me know what you guys think about td ameritrade and lastly like this video so that it helps with the facebook <laughs> And lastly, like this video so that it helps with the YouTube algorithm and it shows other individuals that might be interested in starting off with investing and are considering TD Ameritrade. This will help them with uh, getting a better chance to see this video if you guys give it a nice little thumbs up. So much appreciation for your time. Like I said, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And you already know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.